In this video, I'm going to explain why verticals is one of the most critical plays in every single bunch offense that you see. Every pro Madden player runs some form of verticals, and we're going to show you why I think, again, it's super, super important. Um, there's a couple different reasons why verticals is important, and to illustrate, I'm going to show you uh, one of the best defenses in the game, the baseline and press DB Fire 2 meta, and we're going to show you verticals out of bunch offset. Now, again, I'm in the Cincinnati offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on on this make sure that you join the patreon the link will be down in the description for just ten dollars you're going to get access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including a full tight slots ebook that you can combine with this bunch of stuff that we're talking about so again everything's in the patreon 10 bucks gets you access to it all right um, okay, so verticals. Why is vertical so necessary? Why is vertical so good? And why should you have some form of this in any offense that you're playing, especially if you're running bunch? Couple reasons. Number one, the, the place that people don't want to guard is the seam area of the field. Now the seam area of the field is from the hash mark. If you watch here on Thomas Davis, it's from the hash mark to the numbers, okay? That's the seam area of the field. Same thing here, hash mark to the numbers. Hash mark to hash mark is really like just the dead middle of the field, but hash mark to numbers is typically the seam area of the field, all right? So the next thing that I wanna show you is what we're gonna basically be able to do with the verticals here, and depending on how you wanna run it, is we wanna attack the seam area of the field. We wanna attack that hash mark to numbers uh, area. So what you're going to see here is that you're either going to be able to throw your crosser or you're going to be able to, able to throw uh, your tight end wheel. So if I'm playing DB Fire 2, this tight end wheel is typically open. Now, you saw right there one of the things that actually a lot of people will do. And that is that this guy, they will say this guy's job is to defend the tight end. This guy's job is to defend the tight end. And it's my job to either defend the running back or to defend the crosser, okay? It's my job to either defend the running back or the crosser. That's a really hard user. And what you'll see here is you can high point that crosser. Now the beauty of this specific form of verticals, and again, there's a lot of forms of verticals, is you can take this running back and kind of sneak him outside the backfield like this, or you can leave him on this really sharp cutting in route. Another adjustment that a lot of people like to do is they like to take this guy and man him up on the solo and this guy on the running back. That will stop a lot of wheel routes to the back. So now all they're thinking they got to do is they just got a robot back to the crosser. That's where this in route becomes very valuable because if they do that, then I can just throw that little quick in route with short and elite on the back and you can see why this play is good, all right? Because there's two key ways to run it where you can attack the blitz quickly. Um, super, super important. Now, another way to run this play is to streak this uh, back out of the backfield or put him on a wheel. All right. Um, this is a good setup. Again, back to kind of like what people can do to stop it. This right here is a little bit better against something like this because your, your immediate reaction is I've got to throw the ball. You know, you got to throw the ball quick, right? Um, so you look left and you go, oh, that's covered, oh, that's covered. Now I've got to really hope that my crosser gets open over, over their user if they're running that kind of main coverage element to their defense. The problem is if they run that main coverage element to their defense, there's a lot of other plays that are open in bunch. Uh, let me give you a few examples of, of plays that are open in bunch. One of the plays is, um, you know, let's say – Let's say that instead of attacking with the tight end, like maybe we do something like this where we slant the tight end, we hitch uh, Kirk, and we do something like this, and then we run this guy over here. Now this play becomes super, super good because the vert hook can't really defend, you know what I mean? Uh, it can't really defend in the middle of the field. Another area in which so, – so that's why verticals is good, and that's why it's kind of a chess match play. Um, another thing that starts to become really good if they're going to do all those man-ups and different things like that is you're going to be able to start to throw your flood concepts. 
Um, which leads me to my next point as to why verticals can be one of the best plays for you. And that is if they're running a lot of off coverage man, like let's say they're running like cover one robber. Uh, this is pretty good against cover one robber. What you're going to see here is this snap throw this year is really, really good. Just snap, throw it out there with set feet lead. It's going to be really good for you. Um, the other thing that you're going to be able to do is let's say you're playing somebody that likes to run a lot of zone. If they're running verticals or if you're running, if they're running zone and you're running verticals, it's really hard to stop verticals in zone. Why? Couple reasons. Number one, this little seam right here, the tight end, super open against any kind of double flat. So what do they have to do to stop the seam route? Well, the, the biggest thing they have to do is they have to have some zone over there. So now we're going to have this guy in his zone to stop this flat. We're going to have this guy in his zone to stop the seam. And now we have that 30-yard cloud to stop the crosser. But now that leaves us back over here where we can do a running back streak. And this running back streak can get in this soft spot against a double flat zone, as you can see right there. This also can get in a lot of soft spots against most standard blitzes. Uh, most zone blitzes, if they're especially if they're running some type of uh, cover three style of zone blitz, is you're going to get something like this, where you have hard flats on both sides, and then the user in the middle of the field. So the user's probably again going to be in no man's land here, and this is why you know you can still sneak this guy out of the backfield and just throw it right in the seam, right? So that's why another reason why verticals is really, really, really good. Back to the double Mabel for just a second. Another piece of this, let's say they play a really, really good double Mabel, something like this, and their user is going to run with the crosser. And let's say, just say that maybe you guess wrong and you leave your running back on this in route or whatever, even though he's still going to be open. This wheel to the outside receiver gets over the top of cover two. So if they're in Mabel coverage, this is another way that you can attack the cover two defense within this verticals concept. And then the last piece of this is really any kind of, um, like if you run your verticals, if you run verticals from the short side, and let's say that this user, um, you know, let's just say he takes the tight end, or let's just say he runs over to guard the tight end, or he guards the running back for a second, or, you know, all different options here. But what you'll notice is that this route to R1, if he will run, he gets over 30 yard clouds, as you can see, especially if you run it from the short side of the bunch. And guess what about the other thing I know about bunch is flooding the sideline on both sides is better to the short side. So if I'm to the short side here, this is now giving me a much more um, bigger, a, a bigger threat to flood the right side and to also flood the left side right so you're gonna very likely get double mabel uh, but the beauty of this is you can turn this into something like this basically and now that crosser is going to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud and you can possession catch it on the sideline just like that so this is why every pro runs this play, and they run in a lot of different ways. It's a very versatile passing concept, but really the biggest key to it is these wheel routes. Um, and if you can, I would recommend this right here is actually not a bad variation of verticals if you want to run this. Um, this little in route is actually super good against main coverage, and it kind of creates a natural pick where you can start to highball if they're doing any kind of shaded underneath man coverage. So this is Verticals and why it's so good. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire uh, ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And the link to sign up for that is down in the description of the video.